We have the window itself in the frame of the window and the interior clamp ring. So the two of these pieces, when they come together, are the entire window assembly. So how this thing goes together, we have a flange on our window that contacts the outer surface of your RV, bus, whatever it is, that contacts the outer wall and kind of grips that with the putty tape and the putty tape helps make it watertight and provides a little bit of grip to it. The interior clamp ring goes around the inside and this flange on the clamp ring actually contacts the inside wall. So effectively what you do when you put both of these together is you grab the wall in this channel here between the flange of the window and the flange of the clamp ring. When installed, you grab the wall. Now, the trick is, one, how does the clamp ring get attached to the window frame? That's where I wasn't entirely sure. To me, it seemed kind of ominous to take a screw and put it through the clamp ring into the window and I was thinking well how's the window going to open you know how, how does that function especially these windows being that they actually flip open because they're escape windows so they not only do they slide but they flip open well the window itself is designed with a channel in it so we have this channel in here the channel right here is where the screw is actually going to seat itself. So it's important to know that. That's the part that I, I never understood and I wasn't really able to see anything that, uh, that directly showed me that. If you know it already, then it's not a big deal. But we have these little screws. I believe they're number eight screws. I'm not 100% sure, but they're black to match the frame. They have this flange head, so they have a, a pretty wide grip surface and they're self-drilling self-tapping screws. They've got the pointed tip here. So that tip is actually going to drill itself into the channel all the way around the window, wherever you have the holes in the clamp ring. So that is the important part of the window installation that was missing for me that I didn't realize. So when you put the window on from the outside, you then put the clamp ring on on the inside and the holes of the clamp ring actually line up with that flange. So you put the screw through the hole of the clamp ring and then it's going to go into the window frame in that flange. And that is how the clamp ring is going to be pulled against the window. And that is going to give you your gripping force, thus keeping the window in. So these screws are really small, which obviously you don't want your window falling out, but that's why they use so many screws around the perimeter of the window. So the trick when installing the clamp ring is to make sure that the holes are lining up with the flange all the way around. And there's a specific way that you can install the clamp ring, i.e. put install these screws of the clamp ring to maximize the potential to get it all lined up properly. So it's almost like tightening the lugs on a tire where you go in a star configuration. Well, in this case, we put one screw in then we might go to the opposite side and put another screw in and kind of go, obviously not a star, but go in a pattern around the window so it aligns itself as you go. So that was a really important key that I wasn't able to find and, and didn't fully understand when we first started this process. And it's very important because you have to know how the window goes in to set up the windowsill and everything that you're doing if you're building it from scratch. So the last aspect of this that we'll cover is, and you might already know this, the wall thickness is important for sizing your clamp ring. So from the face, interior face of the flange to the edge here is three quarters of an inch. Now we have the little lip here on the window frame. And if I look at that, we're looking at, oh, about one inch from the interior portion of the flange to the edge here. So when we put those together, we have about one and three quarter inch thickness 
that is going to be its grip range. We want to make sure that our wall thickness is pretty darn close to that one and three quarter. It's not going to be perfect, but you don't want it. I wouldn't say that it's plus or minus a quarter inch and even plus or minus an eight is can be a tad much. You want it to be pretty darn close. Otherwise, you're going to get some flexing of the clamp ring as you're screwing it in and it's not going to look right from the inside. The best way to take a look at it is putting the clamp ring and the window together and then simply putting your measuring tape there and you can see we have about one and three quarter inch thickness. So that means our wall thickness has to be that thick. Well, they do make clamp rings different sizes, meaning they have a different size extension here in the middle. So if you have a thicker wall, you get a thicker or longer clamp ring. I don't know the best way to say that. You get the, uh... <laughs> I don't know the best way to say that. You get this section here, uh, it'll allow for a deeper wall or a thicker wall. So this this length here increases. Ours is three quarter, you can get it one inch, one and a quarter, one and a half. You're gonna be able to increment the size of this clamp ring to fit your wall. Now because we got these windows so cheap and they came with the clamp ring, which the clamp ring can easily cost 50 bucks itself, we actually made the thickness of our walls to fit these windows and clamp rings and that is why we made them the way we did. Hopefully that helps you understand how the window is actually going in and staying in, grabbing to the wall, because that's the important part. <laughs> Let's keep going with our window installation. The next step is putting our putty tape on this inside flange of the actual window itself. The putty tape, as I already said, is going to make the outside watertight and it is going to give us a little bit of grip because it is sticky, so it will help the window grip to the outer portion of the wall. So let's do that. So we have our Dicor Butyl Putty Tape here. We got a five pack box online on Amazon. Great deal. It's gotten us through all of our windows and fantastic vents. It was a great deal for us and it's been going the, the stretch of the project, which is nice. So what we're gonna do, is start at the bottom of the window and we're going to start in the middle and put a little bit down and then we'll just stretch it out kind of force it against the flange as we go and we're going to go all the way around you work it around the corners you want this to be one continuous bead stretchy stuff so you just work it around the corners try not to stretch it out so that it's too thin if anything bunch it up a little bit it's okay to have some overlap and bunch it up this tape when it heats up outside and the metal heats up